Hello everyone, John Kim and Fire Boomer John. I finally won! Praise Jesus! The curse is gone. I'm I won. Now it would be nice if I win the Alabama one, but again, if I did, if I was wrong on that one, I wouldn't be that mad. But anyways, I finally won Clemson, Motors, Destroyers, um, Notre Dame, 30-3. to We basically just watched the Ohio State-Clemson game, but this time, but this time, Clemson gave up three. That was it. Not really a touchdown, but, um... Clemson dominated both sides of the field. They dominated on offense and they dominated on defense. Notre Dame, in my opinion, oh, shouldn't have really been in there. But, I mean, they were. And, listen, I would rather have Notre Dame in there than um, <coughs> Ohio State. But, just saying, no offense, Ohio State. It's just, I just don't really like you guys. But... I finally won one. I'm one and two of the day. After following two big losses, 41 to 15 against Michigan. I guess, I, and I did kind of saw that coming because I said in the video, so I guess I just have partial credit that I did say it depends on the mood Michigan's in. If they're bummed out about not making it and the loss of Ohio State and everything, that they, they will lose. They'll get um, ran out of the field. And that was right. They got ran on the field, so I guess I... I mean, no, uh, I don't get any credit for that because I was like, Michigan, all the way. And, <laughs> and Florida was like, all right, we're going to make you lose. But it's up to Oklahoma and Alabama. I'm positive Alabama will win. I'll be shocked if Alabama actually lost. I It would be funny as heck, don't get me wrong, but... I don't know. I just don't see Oklahoma winning. I mean, there, there's a, actually, let me take that back. If Oklahoma's defense and offense can, you know, get their head in the game, make some turnovers, sack Tua, put some pressure on, then maybe I can see it. But if they just do what they did, like, half the games this season, like letting them run down the field and stuff, then that's not going to be good. Because, or letting the, um... Or their defense not stopping two or anything, or letting the running back just run all over them, then the game is probably gonna get ugly soon. But I don't know. I think this game will be a lot more exciting than the Clemson Notre Dame game, in my opinion. Just because I do think Oklahoma like will be thinking about that loss to Georgia, about how they should have won, and they were like, "Crap, fam, we crapped the bed." And I'm pretty sure my friend Mike was happy about it, though, and he was like, "Oh heck yeah, we won!" I was like, "Yeah." Now, beat Alabama, and then I guess I can call it a good year. Didn't happen, though. But, um, Oklahoma's got another shot, but they got to beat Alabama. It's going to be tough for Oklahoma, but I don't know. We'll see. I finally win, though, after losing both games. Started off with, I mean, I do, I should have went with some of the other teams. I understand the Florida one, the Virginia, Virginia. I don't know. I'm just not. I just didn't really think Virginia would really one shut out South Carolina and score 28 points on them. I was surprised to be sure, but a welcome one. Anyways, I'll make a video after the game if I'm right or wrong stuff. But Clemson dominated. Notre Dame. There was nothing about it. Notre Dame couldn't do anything. All they could do was sit and watch while Clemson was up and down the field, sacking QBs, making fumbles, interceptions. I mean, it was, was it when that was it a huge bad loss? Now for a college football playoff, yes, in my opinion. But in general, there's been worse loss in all of football. It's not like the one that you're like, wow, they lost by a lot. But in college football, playoff-wise, yeah, it was kind of a beatdown. Because when you get into the playoffs, that's where the four big best teams show up. And you're supposed to see, weren't they number two or three? I'm pretty sure no name was three. Um, could be wrong, though. But anyways, 
like you when you always hear the four best teams, you always think, oh man, it's gonna be like an overtime thriller or like last second play or like very close. You never really see one team just running away with it when that one team gets like one field goal or something and just sits there and watch. Or not even scoring a single point in the um, playoffs. I mean, <laughs> that's what happens when you put teams that don't deserve to be, no offense, but when they don't deserve to be in it. Now, I guess, no, I get, I'd rather <laughs> say Notre Dame. Okay, out of the Ohio State and Notre Dame team this year. And the 2016 Ohio State team and the 2018 Notre Dame, I guess I can somewhat see Notre Dame rather being in it. Because they beat teams, and Ohio State didn't even win their division. They lost to Penn State, who won it. But, anyways, I won. Now, to, I'm probably going to go, like, 2-2, two and two, I think. I don't know. And then Clemson won 30-3. to three. Yeah. I would, I would cry if I did lose the other one. It would be weird though, cause if I the one time I root for Alabama, well not really root, but picked Alabama to win something and they lost, I guess I'd have to pick Alabama to win more stuff so they could lose. I don't know, but I'm not Lee Corso. I'm still kind of am. I mean, I only have like one win, but I'm not the like the new and improved Lee Corso. So I'm still someone am, but. Finally got a win. I'll see you guys after the Alabama game. That's I think that game was going to be a lot better. It will be a pretty decent game in my opinion. It depends on how Oklahoma's defense and offense comes. They do have the highest mechanic quarterback. That's Oklahoma's um that's Alabama's biggest um threat. So It should be good. Uh game kicks off in like Hey, I think it kicks off now. So, I'll see you guys here in a few minutes. So, anyways, guys, please leave a like, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later.